Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Here's the thing. Today is July 1st, I and know. when you think of Jeez. July 1st, you're thinking summer, you're thinking heat, oh, and yeah. Mother mm -hmm. Nature's delivering. Definitely warm and humid. You know, I just felt like I was forecasting snow. I was like, I can't believe it's May. I can't believe it's June already. I can't believe it's July. Where did the really? time go, really? I mean, you think about it, and just before you know it, kids are going to be going back to school, mm -hmm. and then soon it'll be November, and we'll oh, be complaining we, about the snow. We don't want to be talking about the school yet. They don't want to hear that No, they yet. don't. <laughs> but we are talking about warm weather and humid weather, and as we take a look at what we have going on currently here in Terre Haute, temperatures into the lower 80s. Like I was saying earlier, we were in the upper 60s to lower 70s at this time yesterday, so already about 13 degrees warmer in a 24-hour period at right around lunchtime now. A few clouds are out there for the most part though. The sun is shining and it will continue as we head into our afternoon. As we look at the big shot here, you can see that line of showers passed off to the east early this morning and through the overnight. I brought in some strong and severe storms yesterday night, but right here we're just seeing a few clouds shuttle in and we still have a very slim chance to see some precipitation as we head into the afternoon and evening, but not like what we saw yesterday and over the last 24 hours. Not that much this early morning, but from Paris to Mattoon, they saw some heavier rainfall in the over night hours, which uh, brought in some of those uh, numbers right there. But yesterday we got close to an inch of precipitation, so a good amount has fallen over the last 24 hours and uh, even the last 48 hours or so. Pretty good for the gardeners out there. I know that for a fact. A day planner will right around 83 degrees right around 1 p.m. So we'll continue in the lower 80s, but we will warm back up into the mid to upper 80s. And not only are the temperatures going to be pretty warm, but with the humidity out there, it's going to be more like the lower 90s to even the mid 90s for some of us on those heat indices. So uh, do prepare if you're going out for your afternoon, doing a walk, taking the dog out. It's going to feel a little muggy out there. Future cast showing some clouds right around 1 p.m. and that's kind of what we're seeing on the radar right now, but not a lot of precipitation now. Right around 5 o'clock as we go hour by hour, you can see some picking up some little isolated cells, but for the most part, I do think it's going to remain dry throughout the Wabash Valley as we head through our Tuesday and definitely as we get into Tuesday night and into our Wednesday morning really clearing out. Along with those clear skies, we're going to see some cooler air move in. So look at this. Our overnight temperature is falling down into the lower to mid 60s for some of us, right around 64 for a low in the overnight. So it's going to feel cooler. We've been kind of stuck in the lower 70s with the warmer air as that cold front moves on through some cooler air along with it. So it's going to be pretty comfortable as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Jumping back through the future casts and uh, we get closer towards Wednesday afternoon, picking up on some precipitation for our Wednesday. Although I do think it's going to stay a little bit more dry than what we're showing right here. This has isolated rain showers and even some uh, heavier rain passing through times on our Wednesday. But for the most part, as that cold front passes through, it's going to take a lot of that moisture along with it. We'll slowly start to dry up as we head into our Wednesday. So today we'll be topping off right around 88 degrees and we have left in that chance for some rain showers. But for the most part, I think we're going to stay dry for a day. Just be prepared if we do have an isolated rain shower pop up. Seven day forecast is looking very nice. Look at this. Uh, for our Thursday, 77 degrees and it's staying mostly clear there. You can see the fireworks continuing into our weekend for our 4th of July holiday. So very nice on Friday as well as on Saturday. Possible chance returning of rain next week. But Friday, Brittany, gorgeous. I'm looking forward to it and I think everybody else is looking forward to it.